Have you ever been really curious what kind of tools content creators use in order to make their creation so smooth and so effortless? Yes, this video is about that. Today, I am talking to you about the tools I use to make my content creation a little bit more effortless. Now, my first tool is going to be something that I absolutely love, and this is known as Monitor Plus. Monitor Plus is a really cool app designed for iPhones, Androids and iPads to help control your Sony cameras. So if you're anything like me and you want to be able to control something like this little Sony camera here, but my camera's right here in front of me and it's against a wall. So I can't easily get back there and make adjustments. I also have a teleprompter hanging off. It's a little bit hard to get in there and press those little things in the menu. And I have no room to get back there behind there and take it out. So making adjustments before means taking the camera off and setting everything and putting it back and hoping I got it right. I didn't want to do that. So here comes Monitor Plus to the rescue. It's a really cool app that not only lets you monitor what you have on your screen, but it allows you things like remote control, record playback, auto focusing, Apple Watch so you can trigger your record, uh, some assistant functions, which I'll show you in a second, real time chroma key checking. And yes, you can connect it wired. I'm going to pop over and show you what it looks like. Here on my iPad, you can see there's my happy face. And yes, this is live. Ooh. Wait, <laughs> it's more like here. Okay, there you go. It's live and you'll see there's the interface here. Let's make this one better. So it's a little easier for you to see. This is monitor plus as you see across the top, I can control everything from frames per second, shutter speed, iris, ISO, white balance, manual focus, which focus mode and the focus area. You also get to see what my battery charge looks like on that particular device. So if I needed to make an adjustment here, say go between a couple different 4k formats, I won't press those because it will trigger all kinds of weirdness and change the frame rate. Also won't do that while we're actively recording. That wouldn't be very bright, but I can come in here and make those adjustments. I could come in and do things like muck with the shutter speed. I love the fact that they give you the 180 degree for where I am with this particular setup. One over 60 is 180 degree rule. So if I was to go to say 90 degree rule, that's one over 125. But as you know, there, my, my brightness isn't right. So let's dip up to ISO 800 and we should be basically at that same sort of exposure based off of that. Okay. So if I dip this back down to one over 60, come back to my ISO and, you know, without climbing behind my computer to try to press all these buttons on the camera, this is easy. This is so much easier. Okay. So let me show you some of the other cool things that are in here. This allows me to see zebra so I can see where I'm going to have some exposure problems. I can press that there. I have my uh, focus mapping through depth mapping here. So you can press that. You can come and see on your false color what that does for you. Um, I have the ability to check out some safe zones if I wanted to do something for a different aspect ratio. Uh, one of my favorites is when I want to do my focus. I want to see how good my focus is looking. I could do something like, let's say, take the iris. Let's go up to five. And then let me ISO up a couple taps. Pep, pep. I think that was three, if I remember correctly. Now, if I pull up my focus target, you will see that I'm, my focus is nailed, right? And it allows me to get a little closer, a little farther back before I lose focus. And that's because I'm at five, six. But if I bring my iris back down to the three, two that I had it, then now the focus dies quicker forward and it dies quicker as I go backwards because, you know, depth of field, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to get into the qualities of video shooting right now, but I just wanted to give you an idea where this false, uh, not this false color, this focus peaking comes in handy. As you can see, I can pull up a histogram so I can see my exposures, make sure that my colors are being pulled. And you can see, look, the histogram is live. It moves with my big head. If I wanted to throw in a LUT right now, this is set for a hybrid log gamma, but I can just press here and select different LUTs that I might want to add in order to check if I'm using one of those features. And then also over here, you'll see I have scopes so that I can make sure that my colors are doing what they're supposed to do. So if I wanted to see how my lighting looks, I pull this up. I can see where that is. These colors are looking right about right. 
Right about now, Funk Soul Brother, <laughs> those are there. Um, I even have the ability to squeeze anamorphic if I want to throw an anamorphic lens on. This is cool. This allows me to do focus pulling. Now, I don't have a small rig or Edelkron uh, focus pull set up on this particular camera, but I can actually control the focus pull from this app. Super dope if you're out in the field. I could do live green screening. I don't really use green. I set it for purple, but you get an idea or chroma key, if you will. I can lock these controls in place. I can flip controls and flip it this way. I can even rotate, right? I even have ability to control my camera zoom from the app. I'm gonna zoom that back out and stop messing with that. <laughs> so there it is. There you have it. Monitor Plus, legit one of my favorite tools. Now I know all of you guys are saying, hey doc, you always show us really crazy and expensive tools. Is it free? Here, let me show you the answer. It is $18.99. That's it. $18.99. You can get the free version. Free. free version will allow you to have live view and remote control, a little bit of histogram. And yeah, just get it there first so you can check it out to see if you would like it. I'm just saying, I think for the money, there is no better app. So what's the catch? This app is only Sony. However, there is another app that's $19.99 and it's called Field Monitor. And Field Monitor, basically similar. I just don't like the interface as much. I like that this one was dedicated for Sony for me, but I've had this Field Monitor app for going on like seven or eight years. It controls Canon, Panasonic, Sony, and Teradek. So I've used Film Monitor a lot too. I just think the interface on Monitor Plus is better understood because, well, it's designed specifically for the Sony. So check out Monitor Plus. Again, it works on the iPhone, it works on the iPad, and reach it into the drawer, it works on the, that's not the Android. <laughs> I don't even know where the Android is. Anyway, it'll also work on the Android too. This is the first of my tools. I wanted to do something for Vlogmas, but I don't wanna make vlog videos for you every day. So I'm just gonna go through the tools that I use to make my production process a heck of a lot easier. So go and check out Monitor Plus. It's at monitorplus.cc. I will drop the link in the description below. Now, don't forget, if you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you can be notified whenever I make some more videos. I also have a vibrant, vibrant Discord community. You can jump in. I'll also drop that link in the description. And I have a newsletter where I put out cool tips like this. And that also will be linked down below. You can find out more at createbetter.life. That's C-R-E-A-T-E-B-E-T-E-R dot L-I-F-E. With that, I got a couple more videos I think you should watch, so check this out next.